friends and partners in Afghanistan, Japan and around the world. It is my pleasure on the occasion of the International Day of Biodiversity to mark the occasion with the signature of an MOU with the Botanical Gardens Conservation International, BGCI. This framework agreement should provide, now and in the foreseeable future, a central platform to bring formally and under one umbrella Afghan universities joining the Botanical Gardens Network of UNITAR's Afghan Fellowship Legacy Projects, AFLP. Doing so on this day and from the splendid Geneva Botanical Gardens, which you see behind me, a deep and symbolic moment for all of us. I would like to pay special tribute to the chancellors of the three universities currently pioneering the campaign, notably Chancellor Baburi of Kabul University, Chancellor Jalalzai of Paktia University and Chancellor Muhibi of Bamiyan University for their vision and their leadership. Dr. Paul Smith and his colleagues at BGCI International have been unstinting in their support. Without their expert guidance, this campaign would surely have not been possible. Having dedicated many years of my life at the United Nations to the development of the Sustainable Development Goals, I can but feel particularly gratified that by rallying around our Afghan partners in their quest to create botanical gardens, we are in fact addressing in one single practical elan so many of the objectives of the SDGs, from food security to health, education, sustainable cities, climate action, life on land, not to mention the myriad social and cultural benefits that a botanical garden can bring to a community. It is worth remembering that 33 countries around the world have no botanical gardens and that more than 40 have only one. Often these are also countries that need the ecosystem services of a botanical garden the most urgently. We can and must join forces to address this anomaly. The AFLP is the brainchild of three friends and veterans of the UNITAR Hiroshima Fellowship for Afghanistan. Nasreen Azimi, Humaira Khan Kamal and Sahabuddin Sokut. When after an exceptional 15 year run, the fellowship wrapped up in 2019, they felt ardently that its many experiences, stories and strengths need to be shared and that its unique network in Afghanistan and worldwide could provide a strong foundation for future projects. The experience of Hiroshima and its spiritual and symbolic heart. The AFLP was thus established as a pro bono initiative within UNITAR's Hiroshima office and it launched its Botanical Gardens Network campaign in January last year, January 2020. I wish to compliment the AFLP founders and the wonderful core teams supporting their work. UNITAR's Mihoko Kumamoto, Yuko Baba, Taiga Nishimura and Jenny Shinluan, the GLH and Eden Networks in Japan, the former fellows, especially Najib Sabori, Najib Ahmadzai, and Zakir Hassanzada in Afghanistan. The work accomplished this past year and a half has been possible thanks to the guidance of a remarkable international advisory committee of world-renowned experts, and in particular, the hands-on involvement of three very talented and dedicated educators, Ari Novi, the president of the San Diego Botanic Garden, Abby Meyer, executive director of the US chapter of BGCI, and Sarada Krishnan, 
Director of Horticulture and Global Initiatives at the Denver Botanic Garden. All have our deep gratitude. Having worked so long with colleagues in Afghanistan, we are not oblivious to the immense challenges the country currently faces. Yet again and again, we have seen the resilience or of, our, of our Afghan friends and partners, and from them have learned the power of hope and determination. I'm truly happy that UNITAR can be a part of such a noble and compelling cause and wish you all the best on this journey to the many flourishing botanical gardens across Afghanistan. Thank you.